Hello everyone, my name is Sanjay Gajendra and I'm part of Texas Instruments High Speed Interface Group. Today we'll be talking about TI's new signal conditioner products that enable twice the reach at half the power for data rates from 10 to 12 gigabit per second. Based on the lifestyle that we enjoy today, system engineers have to deal with two primary problems. The first problem is the increasing interface bandwidth speed. Every protocol has been doubling or tripling the amount of bandwidth that they support. This creates a higher insertion loss in the interconnect media such as backplanes and cables. On the other hand, the integration of FIs or services into CMOS-based ASICs and increased port density creates higher jitter and crosstalk interferences. TI is solving all these complex signal integrity issues with a portfolio of product that includes repeaters, retimers, and advanced retimers. The repeaters solve the problem of loss using an input equalizer and an output driver. The retimer adds a CDR or a clock and data recovery circuit while an advanced retimer includes a FITAP DFE or decision feedback equalizer to deal with the crosstalk problem. All the three devices are offered in a pin compatible fashion so that system designers can easily migrate up or down depending on the performance or cost budget that they need to hit. Now, all the three devices are, are manufactured using TI's silicon germanium by CMOS process that ensures that the highest amount of analog performance is achieved at the lowest power. These retimer and signal conditioner devices can be used in a variety of different communication infrastructure applications such as backplane to deal with loss and crosstalk issues, front port or front panel applications to replace FIs with a low latency retimer, active copper cables as well as passive copper cables and support 8 to 10 meters of cabling in direct attached cable scenarios while meeting the stringent requirements of SFF 8431 standard. To demonstrate the analog performance of this new signal conditioners, here we have the DS110DF410 quad channel retimer devices that's connected to a variety of different media, including 40 inches of FR4, 10 meters of 30 gauge cable, and an optical fiber link. Now the data is connected in a daisy chain format across each of the channel. At the end of the link, you would notice that in spite of going through a variety of different media, there are no errors accumulated, which highlights the fact that the signal is nice and clean as demonstrated by the eye diagram on your screen. The total jitter here is 16.58 picosecond, 4 PRBS31 data type running at 10.3 gigabit per second. In the demo that we just saw, you saw the analog performance highlighted by TI's new retimer products. Now, apart from being offering the highest analog performance, these devices are designed to be very easy to use. For example, the on-chip advanced diagnostic includes a 64-point I monitor with a PRBS generator. The device also automatically adapt to varying cable length or media types. They enable a lower system bomb cost by not requiring external reference, uh, reference clocks or any advanced power filtering. For more information and to view the full demo of the retimer products, please go to ti.com/sickon. Thanks for watching.